to the 10th round. This is the low blow that prompted the penalty. And oftentimes, like most low blows, he was starting to punch at the same time that his head was pushed down through the interaction of him, and then he is up with the low blow, which I don't think was intended. Stay, stay busy. This is the last round. Don't make any mistakes. Give him, put him under the same pressure that you did the last time, and uh, if you slow down, you're going to give him the opportunity to come after you. Give him. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Take a deep breath and go in and finish it up. Finish it up. I like the way they think in the corners of African fighters. Junior gets him to touch gloves at the beginning of the tenth. Let's see if Vernon Forrest is thinking knockout here. Well, he knows he has to win the round. Square Gardens Theater. And not only after, it looks like it's just the, the physical, more aggressive fighters are ready to fight right now. Kasim Uma of Uganda, winner over Saku Powell of Brooklyn in the first fight. And Ike Quarte, perhaps in a position now to gain a victory over Vernon Forrest with the help of the low blow penalty in the ninth. Frankly, I think both fighters have fought well. Uh, whoever wins. Uh, Sometimes you have a winner and a loser, and both of them don't impress you. Um, I like the, the fact that these guys have come to fight for whatever their individual reasons are uh, in the winter of their careers. I agree, but I think that Vernon Forrest shows you that his left arm and left shoulder still are not 100% and therefore, he still is not the fighter who beat Shane Mosley. And he's in probably physically one of the strongest welterweights, junior belterweights of recent years in the sky. Quarty, very physically strong and a strong puncher and very tight defense. Put a lot of pressure on him. And coming forward the entire fight, just oh. as Kasim Uma did against the yes. two power. But with much more firepower than Kasim. Fight between Quarte and Duma would be interesting. I'd love to see that. Quarte would throw 40 punches around. Duma would throw 120. You, you could have it in Timbuktu. Well, if, if Quarte and Kasim Uma fought, I would go with Uma. <laughs> Twelve rounds. If he didn't get knocked out, <laughs> it would be it would be a very interesting and non-tactical twelve rounds. Yeah, they would fight. Nice fight. Ten seconds to go in the fight. Forrest has made no dramatic statement in the tenth. Although perhaps he did enough to win the round, but I'm not sure. Forte pressuring and rallying down the stretch, and now both fighters will try to walk the walk of a winner, but. Duarte has more energy in doing so, and Daniel O'Dampton lifts him into the air. Two good fights. Excellent. High contact. Harold, how'd you finish up here? Okay, Jim. 97-92, seven rounds to three. I could say, you know, Jim, the one thing that, that Vernon Forrest never did was drop a right hand. He murdered Shane Mosley by dropping that right hand down. He lost so much power by not dropping a right hand. He ran. I, I just can't give the fight to a runner. I caught Tay Landed to clean the hardest shots coming forward the whole night. 97, 92, Corte. How much of that inability to drop the right hand was because he couldn't set it up with the jab, That's Emmanuel. right, but also he couldn't get a good clear target. 
Quarte kept his left hand on the side of his head, which prevented it from getting hit with right hands. Here are the judges for the fight. Melvina Lathan, 21 title fights, veteran judge here in New York, scored the draw for Taylor Wright in Memphis. That, of course, was the outcome of that fight. Tony Paolillo, who scored the last fight, once again scores this one. And again, his most significant previous score in our eyes, the draw between Bird and Galata and Steve Weisfeld, who scored the previous fight, likewise scores this one. Both of them had Kasim Uma as a winner over Saku Powell in the first fight tonight. Vernon Forrest and Ike Quarte await the verdict of those three judges here on a hot night in Madison Square Gardens Theater. Big smile on the face of Godwin Asifo, the manager of Ike Quarte, and certainly there are more smiles surrounding Quarte than is the case for Forrest at this moment, which may or may not tell you something. This could be the pivotal moment in the fight, the low blow in the ninth round, and as you see there, Quarte was indeed inadvertently pulling Forrest's head down with the right hand behind his neck at the moment when Forrest made the low blow contact, but referee Arthur McCanty rules the low blow, penalizes Forrest, who had thrown a couple of other low blows in the round. And now let's go to Michael Buffer, who has the numbers on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the scorecards. Steve Weisfeld and Melvina Lathan both scored it 95-94. Tony Paolillo scores it 96-93. Hold to the winner by unanimous decision, Vernon the Viper! surprise maybe a little bit more than a mild surprise as Quarte comes to the ring ropes and holds his hands out as if to say what is that and for Ike Quarte who was not happy with the decision against him in the Oscar De La Hoya fight who was not happy with the decision against him in the Fernando Vargas fight this has to be and when falling. you consider the fact that they took the point away from Vernon. It's even more of a surprise. A unanimous decision. All so all three. three judges seeing something that quite frankly Harold Letterman and I did not see in the fight. And the crowd responds as you can hear. Let's take a look at Ike Cortez's face as he heard that decision. A look of shock as Michael Buffer, who himself looked surprised, announced that the fight had gone in favor of Vernon Forrest. And Quarte may wonder why he ever left Ghana to come back to fight in the United States. Final copy box numbers will show Forrest throwing more, Quarte landing more. Quarte landing at nearly twice the connect percentage. 201 out of 481 to 184 out of 818. I guess the judges saw all the punches that were thrown. Jabs. Forrest landing only 50 out of 428 by CompuBox numbers. A pathetic 12% jab landing percentage against a guy who landed 32% of the jabs. And somehow it's good enough to win him the fight. Forrest landing 15 more power punches and throwing 167 more power punches. This must be the statistic which ultimately wins him the fight. But again, by CompuBox numbers, Quarte landing 53%, which is an extremely high connect percentage and normally a winner.